living in paradise Hanging out in the sun Living in paradise Ain't no matter what we do I always want to share it with you Living in paradise Living in paradise Living in paradise Living in paradise with me hanging round, living in paradise, cruising all around the town, living in paradise, and from Hilo to Car. Hey, the Big Island is such a special place. We got beautiful weather, we got beautiful scenery, but most of all, we got beautiful people. Like all of my friends there. Man, it's amazing. This island is such a great place. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Basically, let me just tell you, right now we have five pickleball courts coming up and we're repurposing our old basketball court that hasn't been used and I think it's great for our community. Awesome. ABC, so what, what, what do you think about this year in Kona, right? Oh, uh, absolutely. The community people are happy. We're going to be happy and it's going to be year round because we got the best weather for it. Well, you know what? Thank you very much to the Parks and Rec staff and you know, all you do to keep your community happy, engaged, healthy. But more so, uh, what we're experiencing here is a partnership with uh, Public Works. Highways do be coming out assisting, you know? Yes. That's one thing about the county. We're all one big Ohana and we all try to help each other out, right? Absolutely. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, our highways guys are doing such amazing work. Not only did they do twice the amount of roads that they've been doing when we came in here, but now they're even helping us fix our pickleball courts and build new ones. Too good. Neil, this guy is amazing. Thank you. Country island life. Country island life. Country island life. That's the rhythm I'm dancing to. It's gonna keep me moving and grooving for all time. Living in paradise, living in paradise, living in paradise. You and me hanging round, living in paradise. Everyone, what time is it? Uncle Derek, take out your cell phone because it is Hawaiian Telcom selfie time. Most of us are already back in school. We have a new teacher in a different classroom. But most of all, we are making new friends. Through life, we face many challenges and many changes. This helps to improve ourselves. As we head into the last half of the year, I want you to all study hard, but be sure to stay safe and have a wonderful school year. Warm smiling faces from generations filled with love. 
for the trusting bonds of family, precious blessings from above. From the heart of the island and the people of this land, bring the goodness of Hawaii home. Mountain apple fruit of the land, mountain apple fruit of the land, mountain apple fruit of the land, mountain apple fruit of the land. Generations hey, that's hot. Hey, guess what? They gave my friend Jenny and make pretty, pretty Jenny. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty Jenny. Okay. Okay, we, we, we make pretty, pretty for mommy. Wow. Oh, guess what, man? You know what? Yeah, it's your birthday, yeah? Yes. Yeah. What do you mean, tell her? Happy birthday, Aunt Okay, yeah. big check of Aunt okay. <laughs> Hawaiian Airlines, next stop, Zippy, right? You go Hawaiian Airlines first, and Zippy, next stop. Mm, big check of Nina! <laughs> All right. Hey, guess what? I get the cutest girl here shopping at JTA. Okay, what do you want to tell Mommy and Daddy? Say hi. Hi mommy, hi daddy, big shaka to them. Ah, do the shaka, big the shaka. Ah, he's gay, awesome. Hey, look at my friend, three of a Hollywood star. You love your mommy and daddy? Yeah, let's give up mommy and daddy big shaka. Come on, come on, come on, Mommy and daddy big shaka. Hey, guess what, man? Look at my friend here. She gets special big shaka for mommy and daddy. That's the one. Hey, guess what? Look at my friends there. What do you want to tell all your friends out there? It's good here. Okay, thanks for coming here. And they also get special message for their mom. What do you want to tell your mom? I love you, mom. Okay, thanks for coming to mom. Ah, okay. Hey, guess what? You guys recognize these two ladies over here? <laughs> you get special message for all of you in Hilo. What do you want to tell them? Hi. And what do you shop? KTA! Oh, big shaka, awesome. <laughs> Hey, guess what, man? Two lovely girls shopping at KTA. Yeah, so what? What are you guys buying there? Pound cake, ice cream, and strawberry. All kinds of snacks. Okay, let's oh. give big shaka to the snacks. Come on. Awesome. <laughs> guess what? We are the most beautiful girl <laughs> and the most beautiful baby in the world. But who's the best chef? Oh, yes, well, look at my friend over here. He comes KTA. He eats the cupcake. He only eats the frosty. Right? Huh? Yeah. You like the frosty? Yeah. KTA frosty the best. <laughs> oh, the best. Okay, you suck at the KTA frosty. Hey, guess what? I'm not with the best looking girls, but I am with the best looking girls that works for the greatest airlines. What airlines? Hawaiian Airlines. Wow, awesome. So, what do you want to tell everyone in Hawaii? Hawaii flies with us. Okay, make sure you're to Hey, guess what, man? We got the greatest school, Waikia High School, with the greatest club, Waikia High School, T Club. We got a special message for all the students out there. What do you guys want to tell them? Have a good school year. Big shaka, big shaka, big shaka! <laughs> I told you they were great. Hey, guess what? We get two great leaders here at the YM <laughs> Summer Camp. What do you want to tell all your friends out there? Have a nice school year. Have a good summer, have a nice school year. Okay, big shaka to everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye. Hey, Hilo, man, I am the most fortunate person in the world with two Lisas here. What do you want to tell everyone in Hilo? What's up? What's up, Happy Chaka? Spice of life. Make everything taste so wonderful. You in the recipe for my love, Mother. Spice of life. Make everything taste so wonderful. You in the recipe. So joyfully, when you are close to me, you make me laugh, you make me smile, 
and when I'm feeling down You're always there to turn me around You take my hand I just come alive You are the one You make my Hey, guess what, man? I get two of my friends here. What's your name? Ryder! And? Mason. Okay, Ryder and Mason. Uh, what are you guys doing this summer? Summer fun! Is summer fun good fun? Yes! Yeah! Let's give a big shot to the summer fun. Awesome! Okay, oh, yeah, we have put a little bit in our best bakery in the whole state of Hawaii. But who's the best in chef? Who's the best in chef? Matt! Let me check it out, man, in the pan! Hey, guess what, man? I'm at the Volcano Visitor Center. Two of the most beautiful ladies, but they are rangers, right? Park rangers. Hey, what do you want to tell everyone out there? Aloha. 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 Something more. Come on. Come on down. Come on down. Aloha. Hey, guess what, man? It's summertime, right? And you guys have a nice time. Good summer. What do you want to tell your friends? Oh yeah, yeah. big check of a nice school year! Awesome! Hey, guess what, man? I'm here in Waimea yeah, and they're gonna be baking cookies! Hey, what do we give all the butter on big check of a nice Awesome! Thank you! Hey, guess what, man? My greatest family of our healers, they hold a homo over here in Waimea! Yeah. Where are you guys going? Kona! Oh yeah, your friends are big! Okay, give a big check to all your friends! Awesome! Summertime, have a nice time. Awesome! Hey, guess what, man? I'm in Waimea. I am freezing over here. It's so cold, yeah? Eh? Waimea cold. You know what? It's an awesome family. We're going to give everybody a big chaka. Come on, come on. Chaka, 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 chaka. Awesome! Hey, guess what? Get my friends here to get a special message to all the friends. What will you tell them? Oh yeah, big shot up in my school here, come on! Yes, the one! That's why it's summertime, mommy and the daughter shopping. What do you want to tell all your friends? Have a great summer. Okay, have a great summer and a great school year. Okay, big shot up, big shot up, come on, come on, come on. Spice of life, make everything taste so wonderful. Do the recipe for my love. the most exciting youth on this island man you know so you actually going to the university right yes uh what are we majoring in administration of justice and pre-law wow and you're also in the military yeah wow and you also work part time at the um ymca full time full time wow yeah. <laughs> and i understand there's something really exciting coming up you're going you're going to travel overseas yes i'm going to thailand to represent the ymca wow what is that all about it's just um a, a five people being able to go to the Thai, to thailand and go to a convention and talk about the why and what we do here specifically and they're gonna maybe help us um budget Wow, so what's your, what's your name? Aliyah Aliyah what? Oh, Aliyah Cortez. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you so very much. You're awesome. You're the leader of tomorrow. Man, this is going to make our island an awesome place. Thank yes. you, Aliyah. Thank okay, you. Okay, big shaka, big shaka. Yes, uh. <laughs> hey, guess what? Look at my friend. She's from Oregon. Eh? Okay, give everybody the shaka. Come on. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, oh, awesome. Wow, man, I got a beauty queen here, but not just a beauty queen. Man, you won some kind of award, right? National yeah. award. I won the president's, I won the presidential service award for all the community service I've done in this community. Wow, incredible. So, you know, what, what grade are you in and what school do you go to? So, I attend Kekulo Namhio Kalani Okuu and I'm going to be a seventh grader. Wow! So I you're, you're fluent in Hawaiian, so Kikula Navai Okalani Opu. Yeah. You see how smooth yeah. I am? Too? <laughs> I, I, I wanted to show off. So thank you for going to the school. I wanted, it took me a while to practice. So, 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 so I asked him, so, so can you speak something, say something in Hawaiian? I can say, 
Aloha Kako, my name is Aspen Taylor Kelly, my Kalani Hano Hano. I'm your Miss Hawaii Island Junior High. Kihoi Hoyo, no ka um Aibo Ma na Ikela. Mahalo, that means my name is Aspen Taylor Kelly, my Kalani Hano Hano. I'm your Miss Hawaii Island Junior High. I'm really excited to be here today and it was nice meeting the three people I've met so far. <laughs> Wow, you know, Esther, you're so amazing. Thank I can you. see why you won National Award. I can see, yeah, you know what, yeah, man, you are the, 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 the perfect representative for our island. Oh, thank you. You know what, I like to you know how to make this stuff. Yeah, my girl right over here. All the boats, ding, 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 ding. Hey, guess what, man, I get my friend here, yeah, Kili Poi. She go to Kikula Nawai Okalani Oku. So, Kili Poi. I want to hear you say something in Hawaii. Anything. Um, aloha, tehe oho. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, what did you say? Hi, how are you? Okay. She said, hi, how are you? And you know, why don't we tell everyone out there to have a beautiful school year? Um, makahiki kula maikai. Okay. Hi. Mahalo, Mahalo everybody. Many students shop in with your parents and grandparents during the school day, laughing and enjoying each other's company. We need to remember these priceless moments. Perhaps someday we too can bring that same happiness they brought to us. So I know some of you will be starting school, going to a new school, to the military, to the workplace, and more so, some will be relocating, attending school on the mainland, or relocating to find another job. Whatever you do, we want you to try hard, but be safe. We also want all of you to know we are 100% behind you and want you to succeed in life. Remember, we will always be there to help you overcome some of the obstacles of life. But be there and also to cheer on your many successes. So from all your parents and grandparents and everyone, we want to wish you a safe, wonderful, and successful school year. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Officer Kabanting, South Kuala Community Policing. Uh, thank you for coming out and supporting our 2024 Kiki Fishing Derby. What annual fishing derby is it? Oh, for me, since I've been in community policing, this is my third, this is my third annual for the Kiki. Awesome. Yeah, three years. How many, how many kids come out for this? Thing? Oh, today, I, I think I counted about almost 70 kids today. So what area do these children come from? Oh, they come from all South Kohala and even including North Kohala where I live so and I help try to promote it up there to get the capture the community up there as well. Okay, my name is Lana Gandil Iona and I am here with the Hawaii Police Department Keiki Fishing Derby and uh, we are here with our church New Hope Kauai High and also offering a cooling station and also putting out the Alex and Duke Girego coloring book and track card. Uh, this is a foundation that was started by my sister Shirley DeRego in the tragic loss of her two children. And she turned it around and created uh, something positive out of it with a water safety and first aid training for our youth and our keiki here uh, in Hawaii. Aloha.
Yeah. Wow, that's so amazing. Hey, awesome. Hey, thank you so much for all you do. To, uh, you know, keep our community safe. All you and your, your fellow police officers and and just the community, the parents, the whole community, come out and we all support the cause of oh. you know, you know, keeping our community safe. And it takes a village to raise children, right? It takes a village to raise a child. Awesome. Yes, I definitely believe in that. All thank right. you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to the Hawaiian way of life with our students at Kekula O Navai Okalani Opu. Oh yeah. This is Kumupu Amana as usual, our star with her students helping us out to educate our community in the Hawaiian way of life. This is our homeland and this is who we are. So our students are going to help us to educate you with some Hawaiian ways of life and they're going to read to you their sentences that they composed in relation to that and we are looking forward to see what they've come up with. I commit to memorize words in wine. Ho'opa'apela, to commit to memory, to memorize. My family planned a trip to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Ho'olala, planning skill. Ho'oko, ho'oko awi ko'u ha'avina ina la'apo. I complete my homework every single day. Ho'oko, to fulfill. Ho'okipa, ho'okipa awi ko'u tutu. Pahine, I entertain my grandma. Ho'olale, ho'okipa, to entertain. Kekula na vahi okalane opu. My favorite, favorite school. Favorite place. Favorite place. You know, I walk on campus here and I see so many hands-on projects. You know, I see children running, exercising, see them working in the garden. I mean, kind of tell me about it. Well, when you educate a child, you want to have a holistic approach. You need to educate all facets of their life. If they don't have good health, then how can they concentrate on their schoolwork? If they can't concentrate on their schoolwork, then how can they be successful in other things? So we try to give them, a, I like this word, plethora of activities to educate the entire student. Awesome. From all of us here at Kekula O Navahi O Kalani O Pu'u, Ahui Ho! What's up, everybody out there in TV land? This is Brother Scapes coming to you with Living in Paradise. We're down here at Puhiki with the Puhiki Hui volunteers just taking care of this beautiful place and giving back with aloha. So we want to share with you the changes of Puhiki. So just kick back and enjoy.
bugger like hang with us today. Good sign then. Yeah. Wendy, you know, going around here, I'm so tired of you. So many things happening. You got gym, you got things for the adults, you got all these children, this summer camp, and and, and, and I noticed you got something else, or TSA pre-check. What is that all about? Well, TSA pre-check is getting through the airports quicker. Um, we are the island provider for the TSA pre-check. You can go onto our website, um, go to the drop-down menu on our uh, TSA pre-check and you can go ahead and register online come in you know may set an appointment come in get your um, paperwork done here and then you're off in about three to four days you get your approval and you're able to go in the quicker line at um, the airport. I know I, I see so much adults here I mean today I, I just signed in here I saw about 20 coming go incredible yeah. so in the TSA pre-check office we also do the twit card the TWIT card is what allows you to go onto our harbors division, go into the harbors division. Um, and that's where, um, you know, our ports of entry. So if you're a, a truck driver, if you're a, some construction workers, um, everyone needs a TWIT card to go onto the um, pier. So you can get it from us as well. So thank you very much. The YMC is not just a YMC, it's a community center where you guys do a lot of services for everybody. So thank you so very much, Wendy. Unbelievable. Thank you. Yeah, then I see a Goodwill box out there, right? Yes. I, I see you got one of the opioid machines. Now, what, what, what is that all about? Well, you know, because we have so much people always coming through, we have over 1,900 members who belong to our gym, our fitness center. YMCA members alone, we're just under 5,000. Wow. So we do have a lot of people who are associated with us at the Y. So, you know, it's, it's important, right, for us to be healthy, for us to be drug free. We never know what happens. So that's why we have our um, Marcan uh, machine over there in the back. Um, and it's a free machine. Anyone can come here anytime, go over there, press the button, and it'll come right on out. Um, we also have our Goodwill um, bin that anyone can come and drop off their used goods and we can reuse them in our community. What a better way to recycle. You know, we also have more recyclable bins right here in our walkway. So if it's too much for you to drive through the um, empty lot, you can just walk right in and drop it off right here in the walkway. Wow, YMCA is really a community place. Thank you very much, unbelievable. Thank you. Awesome. This year, we were so fortunate with our Christmas tree sales that our community helps us with. Yeah. We were able to give over $20,000 in scholarshiping for this summer camp for our Alice children. And for those of you who don't know what Alice children are, those are children of families who we have, mom and dad both work, mom and dad have good jobs. However, affording childcare is so expensive and there's no way that they're able to pay for childcare. So through our program that we have in-house, one of the things that we specialize as, um, we're able to give our Alice children scholarships.
Oh man, I'm so excited, man. I have my friend here, Chef Patrick. It's been a while. I didn't see you for several years. Where have you been? I moved to Minneapolis. Minneapolis? Yeah. From Hawaii? Yep, two oh. years ago to be close to family and came back uh, about a year ago and uh, just working with Oldly Farms with Joe and George and really excited. This is our new Airstream kitchen. Wow, you know, I just love this kitchen. It's it unbelievable. Yeah. And bringing a chef like you over here back, I mean, can I go higher than that? So, so, so Chef Patrick, tell me about Only Farms. So we are um, a community that's based around farming. Uh, we, yeah. have, uh, <clears throat> we have about 850 acres, and there will be about 142 home sites in three phases. And uh, eventually we'll have a, a restaurant, a farm restaurant, and a club restaurant. And so right now we're just doing everything out of our Airstream. Wow, I understand I'm gonna be uh, eating your food again today. Yes, so, so what, been a while, right? What, what are you preparing so, today? Well, since we're a farm, we have a lot of, uh, we're growing a lot of special I, I know that you're growing a lot of stuff. Absolutely, here, right? yeah. We have, uh, today we have a, a farm raised uh, baby greens. Um, we're gonna do some baby carrots, some little fennel, uh, have some grilled asparagus, uh, some wow. puna goat cheese, and we're wow. also gonna do a little uh, grilled salmon with some flank steak. And, wow. Uh, we made a little chimichurri sauce with lemon and wow. a bit of rice vinegar. Wow. So, uh, just just a nice fresh salad. Man, look, Chef Patrick, look what he made for me. It's like incredible, man. You know, that guy is such a great chef. A lot of these vegetables here is on the park, right on the parking lot. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh. It's kind of windy, but you know, it's cool, right? <laughs> Look at that, right here. Jack Patrick, special sauce. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, he had some flank steak here too. Let me taste it. Oh! Mm. Mm. Wow! what they say in Hawaii, broke them out. You see? Just like that. Wait, I'm not done yet. Sweet is standing. Perfectly done. Crispy outside and it's soft and moist inside. Oh! 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 It's so good. And asparagus here. Mmm. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. Mm. That, that drink dessert. Oh man, I think it's called wild berry. I heard wild berry cake. Oh man, with all these different berries on. Oh, incredible. Look at this, right here. Ah! Oh! 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 Man, it's so good. Oh, you know, everything seems like it's dent in your mouth and exploding. Happy, happy, happy. One more bite. <laughs> happy face, happy mouth, great dessert. Pico mango that Joy's mom made. Joy's mom, pico mango that she made. Let me take a hit of this. Oh! Man, the food is so delicious. Chef Patrick, unbelievable. Thank you for coming back to Hawaii. Awesome. You know, I see your farm is something that's going to be very, very impressive here. Mm -hmm. All different type of products that you're raising. I just want you to know, you guys have overabundance. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go and buy it and we can sell it at KTA. What do you think? Well, that we, uh, we're going to have a lot of the members will that we have here will be able to uh, partake in the vegetables. We'll uh, we'll also uh, be using it in most in our restaurants, of course. That's going to be our. Hopefully, we'll be able to be self self sustaining. Um, 
Eventually, we will find a market for whatever we have a, in a, in, you know, if an abundance of. Um, but right now, it's it's basically we don't want to. We're not trying to compete with uh, other farmers. We're trying to be. Uh, we're trying to add to what the what the island needs. We're very. Uh, I think as it, when I was a chef uh, for the last ten years here on the island. Um, a lot of the produce came from the mainland. Exactly. It shouldn't really. Exactly. Uh, and so we're going to help try to offset that a little bit. You know, I think grow local, buy local, support right. local. And, you know, you guys are definitely doing it over here. And, you know, it makes me feel so good, right? More fresh. You don't, More have, fresh. You don't have stuff sitting on a, on exactly. a barge for, for days. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And the carbon footprint and everything else. I mean, yeah. everything is so positive, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right. And that's what it's, you know, that's the kind of type of uh, property. We'll have, or eventually we'll have a couple hundred acres of uh, farmland with citrus wow. growing and wow. mangoes and ooh wow. and wow. A, lot of, a lot of stuff that is, uh, yeah. that, they, that the island needs. I always believe that, you know, we should grow our own food instead of yeah. bringing it in from the mainland or importing it from everywhere else, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Oh. Better quality. Oh, I feel so good about your project here, you know, and um, I think, um, you know, it's going to be well accepted by the whole community because, you know, we all need to raise our own food. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Right? And, and we brought in too much for the main. Yeah, yeah. No, no more food. stickers on it. No more stickers on it. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, beautiful climate. We can grow things yeah. all year round. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. All year round. It's awesome. And we have the land for it, you know, it's, awesome. it's it just, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's good for the whole community. Hey, guess what? Beautiful girl here. Man, she gave me this beautiful logo shirt over here. So tell me, what is this logo about? So our, our Obi Farms logo was inspired by some of the streams here on property. And what we found was that in the larger depressions on larger boulders, a smaller rock would get trapped there and throughout time, the movement of the water would swirl it around inside the depression and make a, a larger hole. And that's the inspiration for our logo here. Wow, you know, I, I went and I actually saw what was happening and this is like incredible. And you know, the logo is so beautiful, man. Well designed, right? And I'm so proud to wear this shirt. Well, we think you look great in the shirt and you wear it well, and we hope to get you more shirts in the future. Oh, thank you so very much. Come on, take a second. And I just I love my shirt. Isn't that great? Oh man, look at that. Wow. Uh, it makes it makes an ugly guy like me look good. It'll make you a better. Yeah. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. I see you remember the shaka. Awesome. Take care. <laughs> Patrick. Take care. Hey, so wasn't that an exciting show? You know, it's August and everybody's going back to school. And for all of you that's going to be going off our island, attending the new venture, new school, other island colleges or whatever it is, I want you to take care. And I want all of you to remember that we are all behind you. And for all your students, you know, moving on to the next grade, you know, study hard, but don't forget, your social skills, play together, live together, and love each other. And you know, I'm gonna end this program with a really amazing event, the Relay for Life. You know, all of you should remember, you know, there's, there's nothing impossible. Everything is possible if you have the will and determination to make it happen. Let me show you what I mean. We normally see what is shown on TV, right? Which is everybody's in this big room, sitting in chairs with machines hooked up to them, right? Old school stuff, I guess. I walked in here and we have our own cubicles and I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. The first initial thought, my husband said, you're going to Queens. I'm already stressed out. I don't want to be stressed out even more. So I said, no, I'm just going to stay here. And he's like, but I want you to get the best care. And I said, no, I'm not going. I'd rather be here and have more time at home with my family than the transport back and forth. So, you know, he was even like, oh, let's go to Waimea. And I was like, no, I'm going to feel so sick. And that car ride and everything, like, I don't want to have to worry about the driving either. I'm glad that I chose to stay. And I tell everybody, like, don't, don't go. 
Stay here. Hi, I'm Sheena. I'm the nurse navigator here at the East Hawaii Health Cancer Center. Not a lot of people know what a nurse navigator is. So my main job is to help coordinate care for patients, their families, whether it be for medications, referrals, um, to the mainland, to Oahu, transportation, if they need assistance to transportation, if that's one of the barriers that they may have. A lot of patients can't afford their medications. So I look for foundations, grants, um, even through the drug companies to even see if we could get either a copay assistance or even the medication for free. Shana, uh, from day one, you know, and she's like getting um, paperwork for like my TDI, you know, or my workplace and stuff like that. My gosh, she went above and beyond if you ask me. I'll get it, I'll fax it to them or I'll email it to them. Amazing. I do think that it's the people who work here. I know it sounds ironic, but after I was done, I did really miss coming here. They're wonderful, wonderful people here. It takes a special person to work at oncology. <laughs> Every single one of them, amazing. It was to the point where I didn't care who I had when I came in. Talking stories, they put the IV thing in, and I mean, you don't know, feel nothing, and you know, it's just very comfortable, and they make sure you got everything you need. I feel like this year just like zoomed past. It means a lot to help these patients. Being that extra voice or extra person to help coordinate their care, to advocate for them so their process through this cancer journey goes smoothly. Just to be an ear. A lot of people just want somebody to talk to to understand what the process is. Just talking to a couple other people who were like, they have family members that are gonna have to start chemo and stuff like that. And I said, you know what, we actually have a good cancer center. I said, for me, they were excellent. From when you walk in that door, the staff, the doctors, the nurses, everybody here is very welcoming. You gotta have faith because that's what carried me through the whole thing. And a good support system, obviously. My family, thank you guys, this, you guys were the bomb. I highly recommend cancer thrivers to come to East Hawaii Health Cancer Center. You won't be disappointed. American Cancer Society has helped our clinic, our patients, by providing support for them. I do utilize them a lot for transportation through their Road to Recovery program. Thank you, American Cancer Society, for helping our clinic, our patients, and our community throughout the years. Thank you, American Cancer Society, for all that you do and your continued support. I would also like to thank you for the $10,000 grant that you provided to get our patients to and from treatment. Mahalo. Family, love one another. 
bottle of Hana to treat everyone like family, love one another the way it's supposed to be. It's all about Ohana to treat everyone respectfully, sister or brother. A life giving, love living community. We're helping hands in bond. Aloha from the heart to Grandma, Grandpa, Uncle, Auntie. Come shine the light, let's start. It's all about Ohana to treat everyone like family. supposed to be It's all about Ohana To greet anyone respectfully Sister or brother You and me You and me Family My name is Serena and I am a wife. I'm a mom to eight and I'm a foster mom and I am battling cancer for the second time. I was first diagnosed in um, 2019 with stage three inflammatory breast cancer. When I first got diagnosed, of course, when you hear that C word, it's very scary. And I didn't know like where to go, where to turn to. So the first thing I did was contacted the American Cancer Society and they were just so amazing, so helpful. They had resources for me. Um, and I just think the biggest thing was their support, you know, and having a hotline that was available 24 seven if I needed to contact them. Relief for Life is um, just so amazing. For me, it's like when I'm there, it's, I get to see people that is just like me, so I know that I'm not alone. Um, I celebrate it because it means I made it another year. Um, I celebrate it for my kids. You know, I relay for them, I fight for them. Um, I enjoy relay because I know that with Relay for Life, there's a lot of funding that they do. They raise money and, you know, they raise money for cancer research, which is so important to me because with cancer research, there is more treatment options that come about. Um, right now I'm fighting stage four metastatic breast cancer and when you get to stage four, of course there's no cure. So for me, I depend on treatments to keep me alive. Um, I am two years out from my diagnosis and I am on my fourth line of treatment. I failed three. Um, I just did a PET scan a few days ago and it showed that my cancer has spread more into my bones. So that means that the cancer treatment that I'm on is probably not working. So I'll have to change treatment. Um, so that's where cancer research comes in for me because the more cancer research, the more options of treatments that I have that, you know, these treatments keep me alive, they keep me going and that's how I'm here longer and I get to spend more time in my family. So I am so thankful for the Relay for Life, the American Cancer Society, because it just gives me more time with my family. So thank you very much. <laughs> if it wasn't for my faith, there's no way that I would be where I am today. Faith has gotten me through so much. And I think that's one of the biggest things is just keeping your faith and to never lose hope. You know, God is with us and God knows our path and he's going to get us through any obstacle that we endure. You know, when we think that we have hit 
the end of the road, you know, he opens up the, the doors and leads us to a different path because that's the path that we're supposed to take. So I would like to, you know, also thank all the caregivers out there because this fight, it, it takes a village to get through it. And even though us cancer, you know, thrivers and survivors are going through it, our family's going through it as well. And the person that's taking care of you, you know, it takes a lot to get through it as well. You know, we get through it together. Me and my husband drove to Philadelphia and um, I ran up those rocky stairs, you know, 72 stairs. And at first I thought I couldn't do it because it was steep and it just looked like there's no way I can do it. But I did it, you know, and if I can do it, you can do it, you know. So I just think my message to all of you is no matter what you're going through in life, what battle you're facing, just know that there's a, there's a top that can be reached, you know, and go for it, reach for the top. You know, when I got to the top of the rocky stairs and I jumped and it was just such an amazing feeling because I felt like one day I'm gonna be up there again, jumping, because there's gonna be a cure. Living in paradise, living in paradise. You and me hanging round, living in paradise. Cruising all around the town, living in paradise.